Okay, let's see what she do. Okay, 40. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. Here we are, y'all. We are at Odessa Dealer Only Auto Auction. And we are getting ready to do a walk around, see if we can find us some cars that we want, man. So just checking them out real quick before we pick which one we're going to drive first. They got a lot of cars out here. Actually, no, not really a lot, but a lot, though. Here's the whole yard, y'all. But uh, let's see what I actually like and what I want to sell. I'm not going to mess with this one. Stay. This is a, uh, what is this? A 2002 Ford Taurus with 60-something thousand miles on it. That's super low, so it's gonna go super high. Let's see, all right, we got a little Ford Focus right here. 08, with 174 on it, it looks like. Let's start her up. Got a cracked windshield, I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, she started right up. Got that little Ford Rumble to her. Let's see. As y'all can see, I got that young Eco, uh, whatever you call this thing, Noco Boost with me. So we doing it again, y'all. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna pop this hood real quick. All right, here we go. Yeah, it has cooler in there. I thought it didn't for a second there. It actually looked kind of like it's water. Hold on. Oh, ice cream. All right, so that's cool. Look up underneath. Ah. Looks to be pretty dry to me. Ooh, look at this other side real quick. Okay. Tires is decent. Interior is cool. Yeah, that seems to be cool, y'all. Yeah, let's take her on a drive real quick. Let's see what these electronics do too. Cut that off. It's got that young vibration that they're so known for, though. It's a window. That's cool. That AC's already kicking in, and that radio was working, so. Seems like we're good. So let's throw this thing on the uh, actual highway real quick. All right, y'all, let's see what she do. Real quick here. I already noticed some front end clunking when I was coming out of the parking lot. But let's see how fast we can get her up to on this little road. We up to 60 right now. Slow down. Brakes seem to be cool. Got to be a little careful. Got a little car right here. I don't know why he's parked right there like that. But yeah, let's see. Get this up here. I don't know if you guys can hear that clunking, but it seems to be coming from the front left. So I'm thinking that's a strut. Because it's not like it's shaking or it's doing something weird. All right, one more time. Let's see what we got. Up to 50. 55. 60. Seems to be doing pretty good. I can't really get it up faster than this because we got all this traffic, you guys. So um, I'm going to turn back around and we are going to move on to the next one. Let's get it. All right. Looks like they actually got another Ford Focus that I did not see. So might as well see what's under this hood. Okay. Coolant's in there. That's all good. We started up real quick just in case we got to jump it. I think we do okay she started right up so that's good let's see let's check this got some scrapes on the hood there that's not too much of anything probably can buff that out looks to be dry up under there too let's go walk around real quick on her see what she's doing on the wheel side tires are oh tires are real good this one's got the black interior, y'all. Needs a little cleaning. Nothing too terrible. Tires in the back are good, too. 
I like the color of this one better. So that's gonna be the next one I, I drive. I like this uh, Sonata right here too. Let's start her up. This one is a 2007 with 149 on it. Let her run. They got an Impala. Usually with those wheels, it's got a 3,800 motor. Let's see. Let's see. 3,800. Your boy's kind of cold at this, man. Sometimes he is, though. Just sometimes. <laughs> when I'm right, I'm right. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong, right? So let's start her up. She started up good. Let's see if she got any check engine light. Nope. Hear exhaust noise going on, though. No. Hold on, y'all. We struggling today. All right. That thing's got like 270,000 miles on it. It's an 03 Honda Accord. Uh, what is this thing? Kia Sorento. How many miles on her? It's all-wheel drive. 109. We're going to stay away from that one. I'm trying to stick to this cheap stuff, y'all. 2011 HHR. I don't really like those, but why not? Might as well drive it. It's got 150 on it, so it might go for a decent amount. Start that up. They got a Subaru. I don't like buying Subarus from this dealer because they have effed us many times on Subarus. Uh, 254,000 miles on that, 227,000 miles on that, 172 on the Chevy Aveo. I'm most, oh, it's a five speed, so I'm not going to rock with that one. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and start these up, get these uh, going. Let's start off with this uh, Focus real quick, see how this, uh... wait a minute, I'm tripping, hold up y'all. Dodge Dakota, how many miles on here? 139? Yeah, 139, we gonna leave that one alone. That ain't got no rust, that's gonna go. Probably about like 4,000 at this auction. All right, let's see. Windows are working. It says tire sensor fault. I don't care about that. That AC is not kicking in though. Let's just see. Cut this down. All right, let me see if this radio works. Mike. All right, radio works, that's good. This one's rumble isn't as bad as that other focus. So that's good. If I can get two of them, that'll be That'll be dope. Let me fix this steering wheel. All right. All right, let's see what she do. Most definitely gonna need an AC recharge. It does have a, uh, it does have a uh, cool, like, uh, temp that I'm getting out of it, so it's not hot. So let me just wait a little second, and then we're gonna hit it. So let's see what we got here. All right, 20, it's 30. 40 60 65 seems to be pretty dang good y'all gotta slow down a little bit this dude gotta move his truck man he messing up our test drives let's see Seem to be pretty cool, man. Let's give her one more spin. All right. 40. 50. 60. Slow this down real quick. I ain't trying to get in no car crash. Uh, let's see if we get it up. Speed up a little bit more. 60. Uh, yeah, this is good. I think this one just needs an AC recharge and then we're straight. So putting this one on the list, let's move on to the next one. All right, y'all, we're gonna rock with this Impala. Let me just check up under here real quick. It most definitely is leaking. No, 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 that's dried up. Needs to be cleaned up though. Let's look at the exterior of this joint. Check these tires out. Tires are okay. They're going to have to be replaced soon. 
interior is okay. Got some rust going on over there. Disclaimer for everybody that's new to this channel, man. We are in Minnesota, so rust is where this place, where it lives, man. So this is the LS model. All right, let's drive her. I know y'all can hear that exhaust noise. Oh, this nice cold AC in here. Nice cold AC. All right, that window works. That one does. That one does. That one too. The radio is working, so that's good. AC and everything seems to be working. It says low tire pressure on this one. 131,000 miles on a 3,800 motor is probably one of the best deals you ever gonna get. If you didn't know, now you know, man. To me, best motor ever built by GM. Y'all comment below, let me know what you think. Matter of fact, 3,800 motor, Let's see, 3800 motor, the old 3500 motor. Tell me what y'all think about, like which one's better. I mean, to me, hands down 3800, but I don't know. But let's throw this thing on the road real quick. All right, y'all. So I'm already uh, seeing that the flip, the brake pedal is a little bit soft. So I don't know what that's all about, but we don't know until we know, right? So let me see how she drives at least real quick here. Okay, shifted good on the first one. Something's whining. It's 50 miles per hour. 60. 70, it just hit overdrive at 70. Slow this down a little bit. <clears throat> Might be the power steering one, we'll see. All right. Let's see what we got here. I want to go through these gears on this Impala just because I know like the GMs, the earlier GMs is usually was the trainees that went out. So I'm just trying to check my bases and put these joints through uh, through uh, the ringer, y'all. And as y'all can see, man, everybody that's um, you know old to the channel, um, I'm doing a different route here because they got some construction going on, you guys, and I can't do my normal loop which is like two miles long. So we're gonna have to just do what we can when we can, right? So let's see what we can do. Shift it once, 40 miles per hour now, 50, shift it, five, 60, shift it, all right. Seems to be doing okay. We gotta see why this thing is uh, whining or what is whining exactly. So we have to wait till we get to a stop, which I'm gonna do right now. This is, okay, brakes, these brakes. I don't know if y'all just heard that. Let me see. Okay. All right, power steering wine. So power steering wine is what that was. So that's not bad to me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on the list and hopefully we get this joint. Move on to the next one. Next one up is gonna be this. What year is this? 07 Hyundai Sonata, you guys, 149,000 miles. Let's see what she looks like under here. Looks to be pretty dang dry to me. So that's good. Let's pop this hood real quick. Seems to be dry. Looks like it has some moisture build up right here. Radiator hose must popped at some point because you got the residue. Maybe, I don't know if that is old residue. I don't know. Let me not try to sound like I know what I'm talking about exactly. I'll let y'all know when, I'm, when I don't know, so. All right, tires is good. It's got the aftermarket rims, which that is a good thing. That interior, I don't know if you guys can see, looks pretty clean. Yeah, these tires are like almost brand new in the back. Had a little rust back there. But this is a nice look. Show y'all what it actually, ooh, nice cold AC, man. I love when I get cold AC and hot heat. Hot heat in the winter, cold AC in the summer. That's a good, good selling point. So this interior seems to be cool. Radio is most definitely working. Let's see. Okay, let's see these windows working. That's going there, that's good. This one, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's that window regulator gonna end up going out. 
Looks like it was a little bit slow in the response. So let's uh, see what this thing do. We're going to uh, drive it. Okay, let's see what she do. Okay, 40, 50, 60, 70. All right, that's a pretty good ride, yeah. Okay, brakes real good, no funny noises. Gotta slow this down a little bit. When I brake, it goes a little bit to the right, so that might mean it not. It might be my bad. My words got taken. <laughs> it's going to need uh, a caliper, okay? <laughs> so I'm assuming it's going to need a caliper. So let's see. We're going to turn this joint around one more time for the one time, y'all. Doing big illegal stuff here, but we don't care. All right, so let them get a little head start, man. They messing me up. All right, let's see. Got a whole bunch of cars behind me. All right, that's 50. Slow down a little bit right here. All right, we good. Get this up the speed a little bit more. 65, 70, yep. All right, so this one, I don't think uh, anything besides that caliper. So we're gonna go ahead and put this joint on the list and hopefully we can get this one tomorrow. So um, let's move on to the next one. Next one up, we got the uh, HHR, which is a 2011 with 151,000 miles on it, you guys. Nice interior. It's got that young red to it, so that's good. Tire seems to be straight. Chrome door handles. That's always a good thing. Okay. Tires are getting down there, but they okay. Let's look at the underneath the joint. That's real, real. That's bone dry clean down there. So that's good. That's real good right there. So let's uh, pop the hood real quick. See what the top end looks like. I, I can honestly say, y'all, I never bought one of these. I mean, as a company, we've had them, but I've never bought one. And whenever we've had it, it's always been, it's always taken a while to sell it. But I don't know. It's, I like certain colors on cars, and sometimes the color will sell the car rather than the miles. Not the miles, the model. The model, too. I mean the miles too, shoot. All right, all those windows work, y'all. Let me see. And the AC is nice and cold. They listen to some nice uh, classical music in here. You know what I'm saying? That's my cup of tea. No, it's playing. <laughs> but no, they got some nice classical music, so that's cool. Might be somebody that, uh, the previous owner might have been somebody that kept up to their stuff. All right, so I'm hearing like a control arm right when I was pulling out of there. So we got to mess with this a little bit on the way out. Okay, it doesn't sound too loud, but it is loud. So that's something that you're gonna wanna get fixed. You don't wanna be playing around with people with suspension, man. Cause uh, I wouldn't want to sell anything to anybody that a tire falls off on in the middle of the highway or anything funny like that. So I uh, most definitely wanna get that taken care of if we end up buying it. So let's see, we're gonna pull this joint out real quick and uh, get this one on the road. All right, let's see what she do, y'all. Little Ecotech motor, man. Let's see, 40, 50, 60, 65. All right, that's pretty good. The brakes are good. Not getting no pulsating or nothing funny like that. Let me creep on past this dude real quick. All right, let's see. Get it up a little bit more to speed. 50, 55, uh, we got 55 right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn around right here, y'all. 
instead of going past that stop sign. Like the traffic is starting to build up out here. All right, let's see what we can do with her on the way back. Forty. 50. It's shifting great too, y'all. Like I don't, I'm very confident in this uh, transmission. Let's see, try to get up to 70 real quick. 60. Seven. Yeah, this is man. This is yeah. This is a uh, good good runner, y'all. Besides that little whatever's going on in the front end, like that sounds like it's just gonna be a little control arm, like just one two. Because I'm not getting too much. I'm not even getting no clunking when I'm driving. It's just when I hit that steering wheel. So I'm um, putting this one on the list too, and we are going to move on. Okay, let's move on to the final one on this row, which is gonna be this 08 Chevy Aveo, y'all. Oh, hit the dang sign. It's got some rust back here. I can see the tires are good. The tires are real good in the back, almost brand new. Got the little mud flaps in the back. Oh, in the front. And see that? Let me check the front tires, though. Front tire, probably got to rotate those joints. The ones in the back are better. Ah, oh, my bad, y'all. It's got the manual transmission. I ain't driving that car. So we're actually done with this row. So let's see what we can find over here. On this side, I'm gonna go over to that Yukon later. I might just say that, see if see if I win. You know, y'all know I like that little mystery joint for y'all, cause y'all never know what I'm gonna get. Sometimes I get stuff that I don't even drive, but we'll see. All right, that thing is rusty. I'm not even gonna mess with it. I think this is the smaller dealers. If I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. Let's see. Ford Fusion with 206,000 miles is beat up. In the, I ain't gonna leave that alone. They got an older Suburban, 232,000 miles on it. It's white. Oh, uh, yeah, small dealers. We're going to leave those alone. Got him a Mustang right here, y'all. This small dealer, so we're not even going to walk that. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm kind of like stuck in between, y'all. Stuck in between <laughs> the Mustang. The Mustang, and then there's the Nally over here. I'm trying to see. I'm not even going to mess with this, the Nally, though. Well, actually, I will. They don't even say who the seller is. WeatherTech Mats. I haven't driven a Denali. This man, this is this interior is a lot better than the Tahoe, you guys. This is way better than the Tahoe, y'all. Y'all watch my reviews and all that stuff, y'all. Then you saw me mess with the Tahoe, the Escalade. It's better than the Escalade to me too. This is just, I really like this interior, y'all. Not even just the color, just like the stitching. Look at the stitching and see the seats are like real comfortable and plush, y'all. This is dope. Yeah, man. This thing got 100,000 miles on it. It says hoods, hoods open, but uh, 100,000 miles. What year is this thing? It's 20, 2016, man. I think the uh, reviews that I did was on like the 17th to the 19th. So this is this is most definitely presidential right there. I most definitely. I like the man. I just lo love these uh, Denali's, man, and these GMC's. Because look at the look at the grill, man. This is what sells me on this all the time. It's like when this joint pulls up, man, this is that big boy. Like, look at that grill, man. Just iced out. Like, I've always loved the GMC's um, grills, man. That thing's dope. So, anyways, let's move on to business, see if we can make some money out here. 516,000 miles, bro. That's crazy. Toyota Sequoia. So, hey, cars last, man. You just got to know how to keep them. Let's see. They got a Denali over here. Let's see if they got the seller on here. See, they be playing around when they put stickers like that. Oh, it is Luther. That's a 14 with 108, though. But it's gonna, that's gonna go for a lot of money. We ain't got that money for that. They got some commercial vehicles over here, y'all. We just looking for some cheap stuff. This wind picking up. I hope y'all can hear me, y'all. 
thousand miles on the Honda. Ran fifteen hundred. Two thousand fourteen and probably I think beat up to death. That's sixty-seven thousand miles on there. All right, looks like we got all the newer cars right here, you guys. GMC Sierra. I wanted to show y'all this Mustang back here. It's a twenty sixteen. This ain't no five point It's a V six though. It would say five point on it. Nice, nice body though. All right. There ain't nothing too special over here, you guys. Let's see. We're gonna walk one more time. We're gonna go on this side though. I might they might have switched out the uh might be some franchise dealers back there, so let's see. Got them a little nice Audi. I forgot I think these are called the TTs or something like that. These little small ones. Let me see. Oh, I don't even got the badge on there. Comment below. Let me know what type of Audi that is. The small little two-door coupe joint. Because I don't know. Let's see what's over here. They got an Outlook on the flat. Volkswagen Passat wagon. Let me see. Let's see what's over here, man. Yeah, the Outlook got 224 on it. Got a Volkswagen. Is that a Passata or a GTI? GTI, it looks like. They got a Denali. It's got 136 on it. And that's a small dealer. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video like that. We officially drove enough cars, better than what we've been driving out here at this auction. Um, if you like this video, man, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, you guys. Um, also, don't forget to go ahead down in the description. Um, check me out on all the social media platforms and all that good stuff. Also, man, if you're not subscribed already, man, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way um, you'll be able to see more videos like this and some vlogs and all that good stuff. Uh, we will be doing more uh, dealer auction walk around videos at some better auctions this week. So, like I said, man, if you like this video, you're going to like the more of them. So, anyways, you guys, I will see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.